so sick. So the air comes through here, yeah. goes through here, and then out the hood to push the nose down. Wow. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We're super excited here at McLaren Vancouver, and we're looking at, for the very first time, the 620R. This has also a carbon canard right here, and it's got, obviously, the 600LT style louvered fenders, which doesn't create any pressure inside the wheel well. And then, being that it's more of a race car, but it is street legal. That is a center lock for the wheels. 620R badging here and you know, the little number plate on the side. A lot of carbon fiber, carbon mirrors. The entire roof is carbon fiber. And this car, yes, you can get it with a roof scoop impressive car and then back here we have a fixed wing now because this was the last iteration of the 570 they put the exhaust back down in its normal spot like a 570 would have had but you have this insanely huge massive a chassis mounted wing. yeah there's no rugs no carpet the entire door sill is made out of carbon where a lot of time it it stops right around here because you don't want to scuff up you know where your feet get in and out they have everything in this you have harnesses you have a a harness bar in the back there, built to be a motorsport car, but street legal. The whole point of us being here at McLaren is that if we had to trade in the P1 for several other cars, what would those cars be? We asked you guys and you gave us a list. The 620R wasn't on that list. It just happens to be next to the car, one of the cars that you guys really, really wanted us to get. If we traded in, in theory, we are now car shopping for the four supercars that would replace our hypercar. So the 620R just happened to be here here and we just wanted to show it to you guys. We're fascinated by all the technology that goes into this car from the roof scoop to those that Air Force created through the front splitter that comes up through the hood and the chassis mounted wing and how different it was from one of the cars right here that you guys suggested we would get. This is the 600 LT. The 600 LT has a ton of new updated aero over a 570 as I'm sure you all are all aware by now. This one does not have the roof scoop. You could spec it with a roof scoop similar to the 620R. You know, Dave and I were looking at this. this. This would be a great car for Dave. I already have a 720S. I'm quite happy with the 720S. Great track car. Ironically, it has P1 seats. You could get rid of the P1, but you can't get rid of the P1 seats. We still have P1 seats in this car. Carbon everywhere. I like the spec of this with the blue calipers. So our question is, the top cars were a Lamborghini Urus, a Lamborghini SVJ for V12. The 600 LT was on that list as one of the top suggested cars we get modify and tune and make an absolute monster. Dave would have to get in on the McLaren family, so this would be a great car. I do miss the McLaren. Speaking of this on my 12, so we did the conversion using FI exhaust kit they had, which is really cool. I was just about to say that this resembles the top mount exhaust this we did way. on your car, but this is meant for this. And this is crazy. Look at how they use this mesh. Like somewhat transparent where you can see the engine and you can see everything in between all of this. Quite phenomenal to see this car here. And then they ceramic coat the wings so this doesn't get burnt. Everything's carbon. This whole back bumper on this car is carbon fiber. What's crazy about the 600 LT is any journalist in the automotive niche that drove this car say it's the perfect track car. Cause 720 has so much tech support, so much things happening. And the 570 isn't quite powerful enough. Whereas this car on the track is one of the most enthusiast driven car to drive. That's what I've read. I've never driven on a track before. So besides the 600 LT, the last but not least McLaren, you guys suggested that we get would be a 765 LT. And as you've seen, there has been the press car floating around all over the world. Sometimes Canada's a little late to the show, but we do have on hand a 765 LT right here for us to enjoy and feast our eyes on and touch and get our first hands on this car. So without any further ado, let's unveil the 765 LT right under here in the new updated version of chicane gray which i love this color for this car probably one of my favorite colors is this type of gray on a supercar here you guys have it the brand new 765 lt now one of the craziest things starting at the back i think the biggest update on this car is this entire back end is absolutely crazy like jaw dropping in person how they've changed all the panels like look at the way that that looks the way that all these panels are now all open with all this design cut right into and this will be this all metal and we have quad tip exhaust now it's crazy is it wider than a 720 i don't know but it, lo it looks wider look at this i'm gonna go ahead and say it. girth girth 
This is crazy. Senna style diffuser with all these massive fins and it's all carbon. And I love how this comes out on the side. Like you just have to stand here and look at this from all the different angles. Now, LT, this is a long tail. This has a longer extended active arrow wing, also doubled as your air brake. Where you used to put your luggage, you can now have a little peephole as to being able to see the power plant to the 675 LT. Right inside here, we just open this up. Wow, this is cool. There's just so much you guys to look at here. So many little changes. You now have louvered fenders on the 765 LT. You can now have your Senna seats. You can have the carbon buckets. Looks beautiful. Yeah, these are quite nice. This is actually laser etched the way that they do this. And here we have it. You can see the power plant right through between the two seats in the back. special cockpit and I think it's time we enter it. So I thought about putting Senna seats into my 720S. Yeah. I have an idea. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a challenge for you. What's the challenge? It is a challenge. I'll tell you this, they put extra large seats in here because I fit in these really nice with room, with room. You buy this car, I buy that car. Yes. We go to the track, have a competition. I get slicks, you get street tires, you have more power. We see who has a better lap time. Yeah, you're gonna need more than slicks, Davey. No, I won't. You're gonna need more than I, slicks, baby. I've been watching YouTube videos all day watching F1 races. I'm pretty sure I've got it now. The interior is stunning. All Alcantara. Alcantara everywhere you look. All the red, all the carbon. We have all the carbon in here. The spec on this is basically pretty close to the full load. We're only missing the roof scoop. So all in all, we have everything you would come to expect in a lightweight model 765. The question is, what's it sound like? You wanna find out? I do wanna find out. I think the audience wants have to find out. Have you seen the floor right here? Look at this, look at the carbon. The floor underneath the rug. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Shall we start it? Yeah, you start it. I'll right. film it, you start it. picking that up on the camera. Now, because we're inside, due to fire regulations and all that, we can't rev the car in here. It automatically goes into the race setting when you put it in track. Senna seats, I think, are a must in my 720 GTR. Yes. It needs that. Now we're still working on the chassis mounted wing for that car. Aside from having the 720 GTR, this is a completely different beast. I mean, there is so much on here that comes right from McLaren's special operations department that develop all this that I'm never gonna get for my 720S. The question is, should we go ahead and get Davis 600 LT and should we spec a 765 LT and place an order? I think the answer is pretty clear. I also think that if we got this car, it has to come with the roof scoop. Yes. Now the roof scoop's quite different. We call it a roof scoop. The 600 LT, the 620R have the roof scoop that is legitimately right on top of the roof. And the roof scoop for this car is like the Senna. It's actually on this back hatch of glass and it comes up to about here and stops and then it funnels down into the engine. So you guys, what are the thoughts? How, do, how would we spec this car? It's very expensive to start getting into a lot of the crazy, the exposed carbon. You really almost spec this entire car out of carbon. And then you end up with a million dollar 765 LT. I really would just want, I think the Senna seats and the roof scoop, whatever I have to get for that. And then the rest doesn't really matter to me because I would probably do some sort of crazy DD wrap livery, to be honest. I didn't know that car existed. I walked around like, what is that? I thought it was a race car. It legit looks like a race car. It is a race car, but it's legal it's for the legal. street. It's street legal. And they only made a handful of these. 220. Very rare. You have all this new arrow that's incorporated into this new front end of the 765, and it's very complicated. This is all one piece. Look at this. This goes through here, and then this comes right out here, and this is all one piece of carbon, all of this. It's amazing what they can do at the highest levels with you know, engineering this type of material, this composite material. 
So here you guys have it, 765LT. Please comment below what you guys think we should do. We have a whole bunch of cars on the docket. 765, 600LT, SVJ, Urus to reiterate, Porsche Carrera GT. Now that'll be a little harder to find one of those to do a video with, but that would be another potential car for the channel. V10, manual, straight pipe. Someone said just the Aventador SV, didn't have to be the SVJ. A whole bunch of people said SV maybe. Dave, do you have a favorite car that you'd want to add to the channel? Mm. Like favorite car of all time. I I think I like what the audience likes, and that's recreating the tire slayer. The oh. original tire slayer, the 458 wide body. I read every single comment, and you guys are going nuts for that. What's crazy is, even if we did sell the P1 and bought these two cars, we still have lots left in the budget for a lot more cars. We do. Which is crazy, think so, about how much that P1 costs. Ferrari 488 recreation of the OG OG tire slayer. You guys, comment below, would you want to see that? Crazy wrap, the same wrap, the OG, bring it, that'd be bringing it back to the beginnings. Okay, thanks for watching today video. Huge shout out to McLaren Vancouver. Thank you to Mark and to Wilson for trusting me with this car. Tell me, how would you spec this? I need your feedback on this. This is not an easy decision. If, and I can't even imagine I'm saying this, because we just got it. If we have to trade in our hypercar, what are the specs? I want it to be as wild and crazy as possible. Smash the subscribe button, you guys. Join the DDE fam. We're car shopping. This very well could end up. We trade in a hypercar and we come out of it with four crazy supercar builds to work on. I'm super Super excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Right here, and you have another camera. You can go show them that quickly, Dave. You can capture everything when you're driving. Just roll record it. You vlog with that right there on yeah, camera. Let's call, that, let's call that the DDE telemetry package. The DDE vlog package. The DDE vlog package. Very boring videos of highway driving. Right? Yeah, driving the speed limit the entire time.